Hey everybody, this is Joe. Thank you for watching this special production number forecast for 2022 at Giga Texas video. I'd like to continue a discussion that we started on my 10 December video, and that was based on information from Gary Black and discussions with Tesla management and their projections for Giga Texas. Uh, we're going to, we'll discuss the projected Giga Texas production ramp in 2022 and what to expect. We'll go over the definition of gross vehicle margins and why those are important. And we'll look at the Giga Texas projection production number average ranges by quarter to gauge expectations. And we'll go over some of the information that that came from. So on my 10 December video, we talked about Gary Black and his meeting with Tesla management and these highlighted areas that he got from that meeting. And again, I would take a look at my 10 December video to get the full background on that. But one of the statements or highlighted areas that stood out to me was this one saying Giga Texas, the first year volumes and gross vehicle margin percentages should be very similar to Giga Shanghai in its first year for Model 3. So given this, I thought I would look a little bit more in depth about what Giga Shanghai looked like in 2020 as they were ramping. Uh, some of the information and reports from Tesla Investor Relations at that time, and also use this data to kind of make some projections for Giga Texas in 2022. Presented here is information that I obtained from Tesla Investor Relations reports from the end of 2019 through 2020. And that time period is very similar to the end of 2021 into 2022 for Giga Texas. And they noted at that time that they had begun Model 3 manufacturing in December of that year. And they had made about a thousand customer saleable units, but they were going to begin that ramp in January 2020. Again, very similar to what we would see at Giga Texas. Uh, they noted that the projected volume production, the annual runway, was about uh, 150,000 Model 3s out of Shanghai, and that was what their target was going to be. So if we look at some of the key takeaways from that period for Giga Shanghai is that they began the Model 3 ramp in December 2019, which is very similar to December 2021 for Giga Texas. Less than 1,000 saleable cars initially, so very small initial production. Estimated production capacity about 150,000 annual rate. And they had demonstrated about 3,000 unit per week capability, but they had not quite achieved that. We also look at the gross vehicle margins. At that time, uh, Tesla was getting 22.5%. As you can see here, it's basically the net sales less the cost of goods sold. And that extra money that they get can be used to put back into produ producing goods or investing into the company. Their 22.5% gross vehicle margin compares very favorably to the industry average of 7.5%, as you see here. The link to the statista.com for more information is here and it's in the video description as well if you'd like more information. Next, let's look at information from the first quarter of 2020. They mentioned that uh, Gigafactory Shanghai ramp was progressing as uh, according to the plan. However, with better than expected progress, they are raising their uh, production rate that they think they can achieve to 4,000 per week or about 200,000 Model 3s per year. We also saw the beginnings of COVID-19, which would continue to impact the production capability of Tesla throughout 2020. And as you see here, they mentioned that even though they're getting record levels of production, there are significant setbacks. And again, that had to do with the advent of COVID-19. So that kind of colors what we'll see from Shanghai. Despite all that, their projected annual run rate of 200,000 is pretty impressive after just one quarter. So here's a key takeaway. Model 3 ramp proceeding according to plan. First quarter production was about 1,500 per units per week on average, but they expected to get to 4,000 per week annual runway or 200,000 per year, which is about 30% increase over what they had projected initially, and COVID was starting to impact them. It uh, looks at the gross vehicle margins for Giga Shanghai was approaching that already of the U.S. made Model 3. And overall, Tesla's gross vehicle margin was at 25.5%, and again, compared to 7.5% of industry average. Turning to second quarter results, they noted that the Model 3 received strong reception in China, and they had begun construction of Model Y lines at the Shanghai factory, and those are proceeding as normal with expected deliveries by end of 2021. Again, very similar to what we'll be seeing at Giga Texas through 2022. They also talked about uh, the fact that their free mat uh, factory was shut down. That also affected Giga Shanghai as well, again, because of the COVID-19. And they held pretty steady to that 200,000 run rate for Model 3 production 
uh, for the 2020 period of time. And here are the key takeaways. The Model 3 ramp continued simultaneously while they started building and constructing the Model Y plants. They were still estimating about 4,000 units per week or 200,000 uh, per year, but it was being impacted by COVID-19, of course. And their gross vehicle margin was 25.4 that quarter, again, compared to 7.5 by the industry average. By the time they got to the third quarter, some impressive results out of Giga Shanghai caused them to raise their annual production units per year to 250,000. And they also talked about a third production shift starting at the Model 3 factory, which again, we could see something similar at Giga Texas. They also talked a lot about the improved production and delivery efficiency. COVID-19 is still, of, of course, affecting things, but not quite as much. And it was really impressive to see their projected annual run rate. So here are the key takeaways. Model 3 ramp continued simultaneously with the construction of the Model Y plant and Model Y pre-production testing was already underway. They raised their estimate to about 5,000 units per week or about 250,000 uh, units per annual. And the COVID-19 was starting to not take as much of a, uh, a, a bite into the production. And again, they were talking about increasing production rates at Giga Shanghai and bringing on the Model Y. And at this time, Tesla's gross vehicle margin rate went up to 27.7%, again, compared to 7.5% for industry average. Despite significant challenges, Giga Shanghai was able to show by the fourth quarter the ability to produce more than 250,000 Model 3s per year. And this is about the time we started hearing stories about chip shortages that would continue to affect global manufacturers, including Tesla, in 2021. Uh, despite all this, 500,000 vehicles were able to be delivered in 2020, which was a record by far. And Giga Shanghai is about 450,000 production rate for Model 3 and Model Y combined. So here are the key takeaways. Model 3 ramp continued despite the initial Model Y production, and this is similar to what Giga Texas will see with the Cybertruck. New estimate of greater than 500,000 Model 3 units per week or over 250,000 annual rate and 450,000 for Model 3 Y combined. Record year for Tesla and the chip shortages were starting to have an effect. This here just reiterates the over 500,000 cars per week capability and the addition of Model Ys and their gross vehicle margin rate at this time was 24.1, again, compared to 7.5 industry average. So now that we have all of this data, let's put it to use and take a look at what we might expect for the ramp of Giga Texas in 2022. And again, this is based on Giga Shanghai, and that is what Tesla management recently said that they expect. So all things considered and with the data that we have available based on Giga Shanghai's initial ramp, this is what Giga Texas might look like in 2022. First quarter going from very few at the beginning of the quarter to about uh, maybe over 1,500 with an average of about 1,250 cars per week for the first quarter. Then looking into the second quarter, that ramp will continue to move on the upward trajectory, going up to somewhere in the 2,500 to 2,700 range or so. And during this time, I would expect to see an average of about maybe 2,500 cars per week just for uh, estimates uh, purposes. In quarter three, it looks like that ramp would drop down a little bit. Some of that has to do with 4680 production that's starting. Part of it is also the Cybertruck that's coming online as well. But again, using some of the Giga Shanghai information and projecting forward, we would expect maybe about 3,000 cars per week in the third quarter. Now the fourth quarter is when things really start to getting uh, uh, exciting because Giga Texas will be fully operational and we can expect uh, a much higher ramp, possibly around 4,900 cars per week. And some of that would include some cyber trucks as well. To make these projections, again, I used information from Tesla Investor Relations quarterly reports, but I also looked back at Rob Maurer's Tesla Daily, Daily Podcast, which is an excellent site that covers Tesla and really gives some great information. And I looked at his historical numbers that uh, showed the production numbers out of Giga, Giga Shanghai in 2020, as you can see here. The link is up on the top. Uh, I would recommend you go and take a look at his channel. A lot of great information that you can get about Tesla and investing. So let's now summarize all of the information into one place and talk about the production expectations that I have for 2022. Giga Texas should have about 15,000 Model Ys in the first quarter, 30,000 in second quarter, up to 36,000 in third quarter, plus 4680 production beginning. 
Fourth quarter jumps up to 58,500 Model Ys and then possibly 1,000 Cybertrucks or so, with a total 2022 production of around 140,000 vehicles out of Giga Texas. And again, this assumes no recurrence of COVID or chip shortages or any other macro environmental effects that would impact Giga Texas or Tesla in general. So there you have it, a little bit more in-depth about the information we got from Gary Black's meeting with Tesla management, what that means for Giga Texas, and an overall look for 2022. So we looked at the production ramp, we looked at what gross vehicle margins are and what the implications are, and again, uh, Tesla is achieving at least three times more than the industry average, which is amazing and very exciting for the future. And we illustrated some possible or projected Giga Texas production number averages and ranges for the quarters coming up in 2022. I hope that you found this in-depth discussion helpful and gives you some more information about what we can expect at Giga Texas now that production is very close. Thank you to my patrons for your generous support. Patreon members get access to high-resolution photos, previews, and direct dialogue with me. If you would like to support my channel, please consider becoming a patron using this link, which is also in the video description. Please also consider subscribing and hitting the like button. Thanks.